welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome to waiter serve style serving you your dose of fashion beauty and lifestyle i'm crystal waiters and i do all of the things i'm a stylist makeup artist a model simply put i'm a fashion and beauty enthusiast and if fashion and beauty is something that you love as much as i do consider smashing that subscribe button and joining the family we're growing rapidly and i'm excited hello to all of the new subscribers and yeah we got a great video today i say that in all my videos because all my videos are great but today's video is a treat we did some black friday shopping and yeah i'm just sharing my finds so join the family thumbs up this video if you like this video and find the content helpful thumbs it up comment below your favorite looks what items you think i should keep and what items you think i'm sending back because yes i'm sending some stuff back and yeah come on girl come on gal if you're watching hit that subscribe subscribe button and yeah let's dive into the video okay for today's video we are doing an asos haul if you can tell by the title yes we're doing an asos haul asos has become or has always really been my favorite place to shop asos is one of the few brands that still has those avant-garde pieces those different pieces and if you've been rocking with me for a little while you know that's my go-to and they have just been a brand that has catered to my tall frame and creates the looks for the girls honey <laughs> so before we dive into the actual video let's get into the look of the video and today's look is of course featuring everything from asos so today we're doing this fabulous mon kink i think that's the brand turtleneck with this fun print some faux leather leggings these faux leather leggings are great because they come to my feet oh. <laughs> if you a tall girl you know that it's difficult to find pants and leggings that has the length attached to it when they when aso says tall they mean tall i love these leggings i think they um they fit great they feel amazing now for this look i paired it with the faux leather blazer i didn't get this blazer from asos i got it from zara but an oversized faux leather blazer and these cute absolutely adorable white heels if you did my um if you did my if you watch my um video on fashion myths that you need to debunk i talked about um having some white shoes and these are fun because they are playing on the amina muwadi heel um that flares out and they're simple in the front sling bags i love these these are so adorable and extremely comfortable to walk in and this look is fun edgy you can wear it a number of places date night <laughs> if you haven't watched my date night video please make sure you, you do i'll link it below but date night um a casual outing with the girls from brunch anywhere honey love this i love how this turtleneck actually hugs the neck i cannot stand cannot stand turtlenecks that are loose and flaccid Ugh. <laughs> i love this turtleneck the sleeves are long enough and this isn't even a tall so we love this look and yeah let's dive right in now for the first piece i love this sweater i love this sweater because of the print and not only because of the print but this orange color for this sweater if i can get it together is that bars that is bars bars let's get it together for this piece i paired it with my purple and green printed pants um i got this sweater because it mimics the same print from the pants and it creates this dope look i just love the contrasting colors the purple in the sweater picks up the purple in the pants i got these pants from zara they're in my last zara haul if you haven't watched it haven't watched it please do but we love this i got this in a size medium my specs at asos is either a medium or a size eight um my shoe size is a size 10 or UK8 or UK41. So, <clears throat> love this sweater. As far as the looks, I'm not really overly styling. This is more of a try on haul, but for this look, I purposely got this sweater to pair with those pants. And I love how it came out. I paired 
this outfit with those uh, same white shoes. And I think just think this is a fun look. So we love this fun sweater. If it's still available, I'll list it below. All right. Moving right along. Now, in terms of this suit, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I don't really like it. It's giving 42 hut hut. The idea of this blazer, I love the Balenciaga hourglass blazer and coat. And I was trying to find something that mimicked that. And when I saw this, I'm like, oh, this could kind of be a vibe. And then it came with the pants. I'm like, oh, okay, it really could be a vibe with the whole suit. It didn't translate well. I don't know what it's giving, but give me your thoughts in the comments below. Do you like it? Should I keep it? I probably am going I'm probably going to send it back. I don't know if it is the jacket is too big. I definitely know the pants are too big, but I don't know what it is. Something is a little off. My rules for shopping and my wardrobe in general, if I don't absolutely love the pieces, if they don't fit properly and if I haven't worn it in a year, I don't keep them and I get rid of them. And the reason why I say you should absolutely love your pieces, since I don't really love this the way that I love some of these other pieces, I know I'm not going to reach for it. So what's the purpose of buying it and what's the, what's the purpose of keeping it mainly if I'm not going to reach for it? So let me know your thoughts, if I should keep it or not. But um, suit, it is in a navy blue, black, and brown uh, hounds too. I love the print. I do love the print, but not really feeling the over vibe, overall vibe of the suit. Suit. I already had broad shoulders, and this kind of just accentuated them in a way that I didn't like. So, let me know your thoughts. All right, moving right along. Now, with the suit, I paired it with these fun silver metallic lace up heels. I have been on the hunt for some silver lace up heels and I actually love these. These are extremely comfortable as far as uh, heels are concerned. And the lace ups are fabulous because they actually have metal tips so they're substantial. The color is great. I sized up in these just because I'm a stickler of having your foot um, not hang over the heel of your shoe. So with shoes like this, sometimes your foot doesn't slide all the way in at your regular size. So I always size, size up in shoes like these. So I got these in an 11 and they fit perfectly. I love these. I can't wait to pair these with my holiday looks and be on the hunt for um, looks that you need for the holidays. That video is coming shortly. And I love these. So yep, got these in a size 11 for a shoe. Moving right along. Okay, now. I love this blazer. As you guys know, I always say this, pink is not my favorite color. It's my least favorite color, actually. However, comma, I love it paired with this orange. And I love that the lapel is all pink and it pops against this orange. This is such a fun blazer. I'm pairing this with some vinyl leather leggings and some vinyl booties. It is such a vibe and throwing it off with a lime green handbag, just have playing up the color blocking. This is a fun blazer, it fits, it's oversized and if it's not oversized, I don't want it. <laughs> I love oversized blazers. And this is just a fun, um, it's in this neoprene fabric so it does stretch and it comes in regular sizing and plus size as well. So this is a fun blazer. And yeah, let me know you, you guys' thoughts. I do plan on keeping this because this is such a vibe. Love this. You can pair this with a turtleneck and wear it with jeans. You can dress this up for the holidays. This same look and throw you on some fabulous diamond or faux diamond chandelier earrings. And it's a vibe. It's such a vibe. I love this. Let me know your thoughts. All right. Move right along. Okay. So. Yes, sis. I don't know. Let me explain about this dress. It was the color for me. Brown has become such a wardrobe staple, and especially brown on brown skin. It just does something to you. The way that our melanin absorbs this color is just like, ah, 
this is my friend Tabby's fault. She had a birthday brunch. Um, I'll post our picture up here where she had all of us wear brown tans and hazelnut and it was such a dope vibe. Hey ladies, if you watching, <laughs> hey Tams. And it kind of warned me to get this because I just love that idea and I just love brown now. But this didn't translate the way I wanted to on my body as it did the model's body. It has an open back, which I didn't know it at the time of purchase, but it has an open back and I just think it's just too open. I don't know if it's because the dress up top is too big, but if I size down, I'd have had some trouble in the waist. And it's doing a lot with this high-low hem. I don't know. I don't think I'm keeping this. I don't really like it like that, let alone love it. But in terms of styling, I did just throw on some new pumps and there's no way you can wear a bra because peekaboo. <laughs> and I'm okay with uh, going without a bra, but yeah, let me know you guys' thoughts on this. How do you feel about this and how do you think I look in this? I'm interested to know, should I keep it or should I not? But needless to say, brown is a fun color. Black girls, brown girls, get you some brown. Oh my gosh, take you a picture and change your life. <laughs> yeah, let me know your thoughts on this and move right away. Now this dress, I do love. It is body, body short. However, comma, if you have beautiful legs such as myself, you're okay with that. <laughs> What I love about this dress is two things. Is the corset waistline, yes, the print, and then this fabulous draping in the back. This is what did it for me. Now, this dress can typically be transferred throughout the year. You can wear it in the summertime. As you can see, I paired it with some uh, full suede boots, I believe, yes both soy boots and it's still a vibe this is definitely giving date date night <laughs> and i love it it's an open bag this draping is what did it for me honey the sleeves are long enough this is such a vibe it's such a beautiful dress it looks designer but it's it's just gorgeous be careful because again it's short but again if you are a girl who loves her legs rock out with your legs out Bars again, oh my goodness, I'm a rapper. <laughs> I'm not, that's why I was about to drop the dress. <laughs> I'm not, but love this dress. Let me know your thoughts down below, okay? We're moving right along. Now, y'all know, if you've been with me from the inception of this channel, it would not be a video, a haul, if it wasn't what? Faux leather involved. Oh, bars again, oh my gosh. Now, in my last video, my winter wardrobe essentials, I talked about faux leather and I had a faux leather dress in that video. I was on the fence about that dress and after watching that video back, I'm like, it's a cute dress, it's such a vibe, but I wanna take it up a notch. I wanna take it up a notch. It was given too girly girly. And if you've been with me for a little while, you also know I love throwing looks off. I'm a very edgy dresser. I have my feminine moments. That last dress is a very feminine, girly dress, but of course, I always have to edge up a look. And with that dress, I edged it up with the black boots, and then even if the whole look is girly, since I'm, I rock a short haircut, all of my looks tend to be edgy. So, what I love about this dress, it is given, yes, cleavage. <laughs> and I love this ruching on the side. It's short, but it's not too short where it's like, ooh, girl, no. It's short, but of course, as you can see, I paired it with the same suede boots to play with some texture, but I absolutely love this. I may shoot this. By the time y'all see this, I may have shot this on Instagram. Yes, and kept it simple. I think I tried it out with the hat. This is such a biz vibe. <laughs> it's such a vibe. Let me know your thoughts. I love how it pinches just a tad in the waist to kind of create that um, nip in the waist, to create that illusion that you have a smaller waist, waist and a bigger behind, and I need all the help I can get back there now. But 
we get we making progress <laughs> i love the open neck and i just kept the neck open if you feel uncomfortable with an open neck you can pair cami with this you can even wear this as a top or a tunic but love this and i love the sleeves the dropping of the shoulders it's giving 1980s realness and we love that so tell me your thoughts on this and yeah we're what Move around. Not only did we do faux leather, we did faux crocodile, okay? Okay. Love this. Love this blazer. Saw this and geeked out. Love this. I actually bought this to work. <clears throat> and the way that I styled this blazer, we're giving all hazelnut vibes. Tabby, this is your fault again. <laughs> and speaking of Tabby, Tabitha Coleman is my stylist. I'll post up some of the looks that she styled of me um this year and last year and yes your stylist has a stylist and she's also a makeup artist um and a hairstylist too so please check her out her page is glam to glow and this is her fault because this color ever since she sent that thing for her brunch i've been like obsessed with these colors and what i love about this now, out of all my blazers, this is the only one that I actually did not want oversized because I wanted this to fit to the body because I wanted the texture to stand out. And I loved it. I did a, just a draping over the shoulders, over, the, over a dress in the same color and paired it with some boots in this same texture, the vinyl shiny texture. And I love it. It's giving 70s vibe. I also think I paired this with a green handbag and some oversized shades. Love this blazer. So let me know your thoughts. All of the pieces, again, are in a size 8 or medium. And this fits perfectly. Get into it. Get into hot. <laughs> Move right along. Okay. This last coordinate set is such a vibe. It's giving modern, it's giving fashion, it's giving New York Fashion Week, and we love this. I love the color bargain. I have been on the hunt for this coordinate set for literally weeks, and I found it, and it was the last one in my size, and I'm like, oh, this is the sign I need to have it. Love this. It's a crop top with a side tie, and the tie is coming black and white, and then the skirt also has the black and white contrast and i love that the skirt has a slit so it's not giving matronly old lady which i'm not judging some old ladies are fly my mom is one that's fly <laughs> and i love this i kept it simple paired it with the same suede black boots and this is just about this is going out to dinner this is hanging with friends this is just getting involved in this on the scene brunch if you haven't checked out my brunch outfits video please make sure you do the billowy sleeves is also what did it for me and then the high neck collar i love this let me know you guys thoughts and yeah moving right along okay guys that's it for this video thank you so much for watching thank you so much for rocking with me and if you like the outfits in the video please comment your favorite one below and again my specs are i'm six feet tall i wear a size six to eight all of those pieces are in a size eight um my shoe size is a size us 10 uk 41 or uk 8 and is that it? Follow me on Instagram at Way to Serve Style. Follow my blog, WayToServeStyle.com. I did a post um, this week about getting to know a little bit about your girl. Let me know if you guys want a video on that. And yeah, I think that's it. Thank you guys. Be well and be blessed. Take care. See you in the next one. Bye.